Hello and welcome to this Terrain Composer tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show how to do placement based on image colors. The satellite images we're going to use for this tutorial are included with Terrain Composer tutorial package. Now let's start up Terrain Composer in window Terrain Composer. We drag and drop the window over here and dock it and if we click help you get the start window and you will need to uh, download the tutorial package here and also the example package for the trees because uh, the bootcamp assets are included like the trees, the splat textures and the grass and also stones from the bootcamp demo of um, Unity so uh, let's start to create our terrains we have nine tiles, three by three so we create a 3x3 three three, um, terrains and select the scene parent and then it's going to be stored in terrains in the assets folder so I click create terrains now I select the I button to display the short list I unfold a terrain and let's take a look at resolutions that's ok and now on size we have one kilometer so it is now uh, 3 by 3 kilometers however the area is um, like 15 kilometers so we change the size of one tile to 5 kilometer shift click fit all so now we have 15 by 15 kilometers now we have to assign uh, the splat textures these tiles and we're going to do that as a splat texture and then as a color map, so I shift click color map here then we can use the select window over here and we drag and drop uh, the satellite image in there and then there's the uh, default uh, auto search format string selection and normally it's on one and then you uh, select this uh, naming C1, Air1 and then I can shift click auto search to do the auto search and they're all uh, assigned or selected for each terrain now so I can uh, make it smaller and now all I have to do is now shift click settle to apply them and we have them loaded now uh, we have to do the trees so we click on trees here first we have to assign some trees to the terrain and we can do that with the default uh, tree uh, trees from the bootcamp so I shift click set all and now the trees are assigned now let's make the tree layer so we go to tree output here we select plus to add a tree layer we unfold it we add our trees in there then the filter is choosing what tree to place based on input so uh, now the input is on height but we have a flat terrain so we want to place them based on random and now we only need to add a mask and uh, subfilters are now called mask to um, it's easier to remember uh, we need input on image because we're going to use images then we can drag and drop our first satellite image into the slot make the window a little bit bigger we unfold the settings here we can uh, set up the auto search again select the right string then we can do load on generate and what it will do is for each terrain it will uh, load a separate image and then unload again you can also do it with a, with a whole list like if you do this but if you do load on generate it will save some memory so we're going to use that option then uh, for image mode uh, it's on multi-terrain now which means that every image is, is spread over the entire terrain but we want to spread it over each terrain because each image is on each terrain 
so now we need to uh, add our color selection and we're going to use uh, the image filter tool for this this is renewed in Terrain Composer and now it's much more easier to zoom in zoom out it will work the same as World Composer so we can just uh, move around the image and then use the scroll wheel zoom in, zoom out we add a color in here we zoomed in on uh, on some trees and then we select a dark color and here we select a lighter color then uh, if you right click it will automatically zoom out to the to its size we set it to compare to get the uh, generated image on the right and it's uh, already generated a little bit hard to see so we select highlight to get it in red generate again and here we can shift click generate for auto generation so here you can see the the pixels. We can also put it over the uh, image. So we do overlay, and then you need to select transparent there. And now we can see exactly where what colors we selected, what range. Uh, if we zoom in, uh, we notice um, that there is darker red, and that's because of the here because the first color will give uh, zero output and the second color which is in between the range will give full output and we just want full output for everything so there's no fall off so for this color we want to select trees and everything that's in between so now we get this and I think we can uh, make the range a little bit bigger so we well, that's too much so we place a little bit more trees okay we're ready now all you have to do is uh, either copy this color by sh by alt clicking S or we can save the color here in the menu and under test click it away and then click this one away and now if you alt click plus it copies the color or paste it from the copy. You can also load it by the menu by open and this is very handy if you have much more colors and here's the color. So um, it's ready now let's hit generate to see what happens because we're getting very small trees uh, we want them bigger so we uh, change the scale here to a bigger size Let's activate like auto generate by shift clicking. And there we go. And now we have uh, trees placed based on image color. And uh, you can use this functionality in Terrain Composer with everything with placing grass, with placing objects, with placing splat textures. and uh, for placing trees uh, you can um, select three colors over here so for example uh, I think I have a default in here for bushes and then if I shift click set all we will get color variation yes that's done and um, you can set like scale range over here for each tree and you can really fine tune all trees based on um, colors, distance you can do, the scale and here you can do the total scale if we want less uh, density we uh, can reduce the layer strength here and that's the uh, total density so here you can see the um, tree density decrease if you even want to place more trees you can change the tree resolution in terrain local area so if you make this like double 1024 then we have to shift click settle to apply to all terrains that resolution to full layer strength again and then click generate you will see it takes uh, more time and we get even more trees very dense 
area. So let's take a f look in full screen. You can see how fast you can make a placement based on image colors. Thank you very much for watching.